Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Open Up a Random Part and See What's Inside. Today we're going to be looking at this part from DDC, the BU-6174, which is a dual MIL STD 1553 transceiver, also referred to as the Enhanced Mini Ace, the Enhanced Miniature Advanced Communications Engine. I picked up this particular part from a scrap lot on eBay, and judging by the solder on the part, I'm guessing it's no longer functional which means it's perfect for opening up to see what's inside. To open up these types of parts with welded lids, I'll either clamp it in a vise and use a file, or this method, which uses sandpaper. I'll use adhesive-backed sandpaper and attach it to a thick piece of glass to get a consistently flat edge. I sand around all four edges of the part, sanding one edge just a little bit less than the others. I can then use a razor blade to pop open the part with the lid still attached. Inside we can see there are three separate silicon chips, along with a few capacitors. There are also a few empty spots where it looks like some other capacitors and perhaps an additional chip could have been soldered into place. My assumption is that the two smaller chips are the transceivers, A and B, with the larger chip being some logic to allow the transceivers to interface with an external CPU. You might be asking yourself, so what is the point of this part? Well, as I stated earlier, this part is used for MIL STD1553 communication, which is essentially a ruggedized serial communication protocol. According to the Wikipedia page for a MIL STD1553, it was originally designed for use in military avionic applications, but has since been used in a variety of places, even including the James Webb Telescope. It originally debuted in 1973 and was first used on the F-16 aircraft. I would definitely recommend heading over to the Wikipedia page on MIL STD-1553 if you're interested to learn more, because it has a surprisingly amount of really good information. For now, just enjoy the view of the silicon under the microscope.
If you made it all the way through, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this sort of content and you aren't already, then I would definitely recommend subscribing. I'll be trying to post more often than I have been. I edited this video on my phone instead of using Adobe Premiere on my PC and I found it was much easier to do and takes a lot less time, which will make it easier to get more videos posted here in the future. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Later!